Welcome to Technical Explained. This is Geometry Lesson 4 and in this lesson we are going to study Polygon. So what is a Polygon? A Polygon is a closed figure made up of line segments in two dimensions. A minimum of three line segments are required for making a closed figure. So a Polygon must have at least three sides. It can have more than three sides but it needs to have at least three sides. Simplest examples are triangles which have three sides and quadrilaterals which have four sides. Other important polygons are pentagon which is a five sided closed figure, hexagon which is a six sided closed figure, heptagon which is a seven sided closed figure and octagon which is an eight sided closed figure. Now there are some important properties of polygon. First important property is that if we have a polygon with add n sides we can make n minus 2 triangles. So if we have a polygon with 8 sides which is, called, which is called octagon, we can make 6 triangles. So if we have a polygon with n sides, we can make n minus 2 triangles. And the sum of the interior angles of a polygon is n minus 2 multiplied by 180. Where n is the number of sides of a polygon. So that and that's why because we can always make n minus 2 triangles from a poly uh, from a n sided polygon and this 180 comes from the fact that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degree now here we have a triangle which has four sides now the number of triangles here will be 2. Why? Because we have 4 sides and n minus 2 is equal to 2. n is equal to 4 so n minus 2 is equal to 2. And the sum of the interior angles will be again if we go to the previous side sum of the interior angles n minus 2 multiplied by 180. So we are going to substitute 4 here. When we substitute 4 here we get 2 in this bracket. So 2 multiplied by 180 is 360. The sum of interior angles here is 360. Again in this figure we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have a 6 sided clause figure and it is called hexagon. So now this is a hexagon because it is a 6 sided closed figure. And now the number of triangles we can make, we have already made number of triangles are n minus 2 n minus 2 n is equal to here 6 because it has 6 sides so n minus 2 is 4 so the number of triangles are 4 and these are 1 2 3 4 and sum of the interior angles again n minus 2 multiplied by 180 which means 6 minus 2 multiplied by 180 and 6 minus 2 is 4 so we have 4 multiplied by 180 and if we calculate this if we calculate 4 multiplied by 180 it comes out to be 720 using the formula n minus 2 multiplied by n 80 where n is the number of sides and here we have 6 sides as we counted. The sum of the interior angles here is 720. Now what about regular polygon? A regular polygon is one which has all the sides and all the angles equal in Meyer. So a regular polygon has all sides and all angles equal in Meyer. And in a regular po polygon, the measure of each interior angle is n minus 2 divided by n multiplied by 180. So the measure of each interior angle is n minus 2 divided by n, n multiplied by 180 because it is a regular polygon where n is the number of uh, sides. So this is again, this is very important formula to remember for polygons that the for a regular polygon, the measure of each angle will be n minus 2 divided by n multiplied by 180. Now, the parameter we can easily find the parameter of all these polygons by summing the side each sides. So, we can easily sum the length of all the sides and found the parameter. Areas are different. For triangle, we know the area height multiplied by base divided by 2. For rectangle, we also know the area. The program has similar area but the complexity here is to find the height. Now if we have a regular hexagon which is a six sided figure its formula is 3 under root 3 divided by 2 multiplied by a square or 2.63 into a, a square 2.63 into a square where a is the side of any of the length because it's a, a regular polygon so each side has length a this side has length a 
this side has length there, this side has length there, this side has length there, this side has length there. And the area of this is 3 into under root 3 divided by 2 into a square or 2.63 a square. Similarly for regular octagon, octagon means add side a square. Regular means that all the sides are equal in length and each of the internal angle is also equal in length. For this the formula is 2 into 1 plus under root 2 a square. So probably you are familiar with these three formulas but you need to learn these formulas for uh, tests. Now we will do some examples that in a rectangle the ratio of length to length width is 4 ratio 1. The perimeter is 20 units what is the area. So we have a rectangle and the ratio of length to width is 4 ratio 1. So let the length be 4x and the width be x. Now it's given that the perimeter is 20 units and we know that perimeter is the sum of the lengths of all the sides. So this, if this is x this is also x by the definition of rectangle. So we are going to what we are going to do is that we are going to add the lengths of all these sides and when we add the lengths of all these sides we get 10x and we are given that the perimeter is 20 units so 10x is equal to 20 which means that x is equal to 2 fine now we have found the length of the width of this rectangle so the width is 2 so here x is 2 and the uh, Line, length is 4 into 2 which is 8 so this is 8 now we can simply find the area of the triangle uh, of this rectangle which is length multiplied by width so which is 2 multiplied by 8 why we are multiplying 2 multiplied by 8 because we found out that the width is 2 and the length we found out which was 4x initially is 8 so the area of this is 16 so this is our answer the area of the triangle of this uh, rectangle sorry is 16 okay then the next question is, is what is the measure of each interior angle of a regular hexagon hexagon is a six sided closed figure and we need to find the measure of each interior angle we know the formula that n minus 2 divided by 2 multiplied by 180 and it's a hexagon so it's a six sided figure so n is equal to 6. So 6 minus 2 is 4. So we have 4 divided by 6 multiplied by 180. So if, when we solve this we will get the area of a regular hexagon. Which comes out to be, uh, so this is, uh, this is, this will become 3. And this will become 2. And then we will have, this comes out to be 120. So the area of a regular area measure of the angle of the each interior angle of a regular hexagon is 120 degree now what is the measure of the uh, interior angle of a regular pentagon again pentagon is a five sided angle so again we will use the formula n minus 2 divided by n multiplied by 180 so we will use this formula again n minus 2 divided by n multiplied by 180 and here in n we are going to substitute 5 why because it's a pentagon and pentagon is a five sided angle and when we substitute we get 108 degree so the measure of each interior angle of a pentagon is 108 degree so that's it for today hopefully you like my this video please subscribe to my channel Te technically explained thank you